Hi folks, G3 here and welcome to another installment of my journey to go green. Today's episode is a quick EV news update. I've got a couple of things for you today and first up it's something which didn't quite make it in time for my last update and this is the MG4 pricing. In my last EV news update, I talked about the MG4, about when it was likely to be coming to the UK market and a few other bits and pieces. And one of the things I didn't know at the time was pricing, but that has now been released. MG are reporting on their website that the all new MG4 EV, the SE version, which is the base version, is starting at 25,995. So pretty much 26,000 pounds. It's got MG Pilot, 10.25 inch color touchscreen, iSmart user app, a seven inch full digital driver information display, and it comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now the WLTP range for that is estimated at 218 miles combined. Now looking at the next step up, which is the SE long range, that's starting at 28,495 pounds. Now that's got pretty much the same spec as the SE, apart from it comes with a 64 kilowatt hour battery, as opposed to the 51 kilowatt hour that comes in the standard SE version. The current top of the range is the Trophy long range, and that's starting at 31,495 pounds. Now that comes with the same spec as the SE long range with the addition of a 360 degree parking camera, iSmart live services, wireless mobile phone charger, satellite navigation, heated front seats and steering wheel and a mobile phone Bluetooth key. So there you go, the entry level SE which has a WLTP range of 218 miles has a starting price of £25,995. That's excellent. This kind of pricing from MG will help push down the prices of competitor cars. So hopefully this is gonna see a drop in the entry level prices for cars in general. And obviously manufacturers are gonna be coming in with lower spec cars underneath that price over time. So I think we're gonna see entry level pricing dropping over the next year or two reasonably rapidly, fingers crossed. Obviously the price of the top level car is 31,495, so that is higher, but it's still a very good spec car for that price. So I think it's still pretty good value compared to other cars on the market at the moment. Obviously it'd be great when that price gets driven down by uh, competition as well. So that's the opening prices for the MG4, but I suspect that the order book is gonna be pretty long. So if you did want to get one of those, you probably better get your order in soon. I suspect that MG will be stopping the order book pretty soon because there will be lots of people willing to pay that price for the entry level. So there you go, folks. That's the pricing for the MG4. Next up, it's a bit of news from cnevpost.com and this relates to Xpeng and their ultra fast charging capability. They're reporting that Xpeng is gonna focus on building S4 ultra fast charging stations in the 10 cities with the highest number of G9 orders this year in China. They reported that the Xpeng G9 was able to get a CLTC range of 210 kilometers in just five minutes of charging when using the S4 ultra fast charger. This was according to a real world test shown by the company. Their S4 supercharger has a maximum power of 480 kilowatts and a maximum current of 670 amps and a peak charging power of 400 kilowatts, according to Xpeng chairman and CEO He Xiaopeng. For comparison, Tesla's V3 supercharger has a maximum power of 250 kilowatts and a maximum current of 631 amps and can get a 150 kilometer range in as little as five minutes. And also for comparison, Porsche's turbo supercharging has a maximum power of 350 kilowatts, a maximum current of 500 amps, and can get a 120 kilometer range in five minutes at the fastest. So Xpeng's S4 supercharger offering is clearly well ahead of these competitors at the moment, getting 210 kilometers in just five minutes of charging. That's clearly Phenomenal performance. Xpeng are hoping to get an additional 2,000 superchargers by the end of 2025. Now, I'm expecting those are predominantly gonna be across China, but obviously they are also rolling out into European markets such as Norway. So we could well be seeing them there as well. So there you go, folks. Those are my snippets of EV news this week. I hope you found them interesting. If you did, then please click the like button down below. As always, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the pricing for the MG4 and whether you are likely to be putting in an order for one. And if you haven't done so already, then why not subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you get notified when I load up a new video.
Well, thanks for watching, folks. Until next time, bye.